This is a demonstration of the force on a current carrying wire. It's a little magnet car that you can build at home. It's got a battery in the middle. It's got a magnet with the north pole on this side and the south pole on the side that's contacting the battery. Then it's got another magnet. These are rare earth neodymium magnets. This one also has the north pole on the outside and the south pole on the inside. And then there's also a, a small magnet, annular magnet, that fits over the little bump of the plus side of the battery. You might be able to see that in here. That just allows those magnets to mate well with the end of the battery. This is the positive side of the battery and the negative side of the battery. So what's going to happen when I place this down on the aluminum foil is that the battery is going to drive a current through this magnet down to the foil, across the foil, and then back up this side, and then through the battery again. So what you have is uh, north poles of the two magnets that are facing out. The battery with its plus side over here, minus side there. And this is the body of the battery. And currents shown in green that uh, come down through the, conducting through the conducting magnet, through the tin foil, up the other side and over to the other side. So this creates a current loop driven by the potential of the battery. So what happens and how do you get a car out of this deal? If the current's to the right and the field actually in the battery produced by these magnets is going to be up, how so? The, the north pole of this battery faces out, so the magnetic field lines come out of the north pole and into the south pole of that, batter, of that magnet. Similarly here, they come out of the north pole, which is facing away from the battery, around and then into the south pole. Well, what's the direction of the magnetic fields where they, where they come into the battery? It's ver basically vertical, a little bit outward. So we've basically got a vertical field, a current in, in this direction. If we place, using the right hand rule, if we place our thumb in the direction of the current, our fingers in the direction of the field, then the force on that battery, due to the magnetic fields of these magnets, has to be out of the palm. In other words, this way, out of the plane of this diagram. And from your perspective, uh, when I place it on here, it should be toward you. So we place this down. It's toward you. If we turn it around, everything gets reversed. Goes the other way. Anyway, that's a magnet car.